When two or more atoms without full outer valences are mixed together, they will undergo a chemical reaction and produce new substances that are more stable. They are more stable because their electrons have formed bonds that complete the outer valence of the participating atoms. There are four signs that a chemical reaction has taken place, that is, that new substances have been produced. In part one of this lab, you will observe several different chemical reactions in an attempt to figure out what the common signs are for the production of new substances. Read the introductory paragraph and highlight the important parts, paying particular attention to the definition of a chemical change. Complete the prediction section on the bottom of sheet one. Beginning the activities, I need to put my goggles on. For activity A, I'm going to put a wad of steel wool into the baggie and add 20 mLs of copper sulfate. These are then thoroughly mixed together. After a few seconds of mixing, a noticeable temperature change takes place in the steel wool. My fingers are getting very warm. In addition, you can see a color change taking place not only in the steel wool, but also in the liquid copper sulfate. Record your observations in the space on sheet two below step six. Activity B instructs you to put 20 mils of copper sulfate into a small beaker and then add a piece of magnesium metal. Notice the small bubbles. As the reaction progresses, notice also the color change of both the liquid and the metal. The beaker also gets slightly warm. Record your observations in the space on sheet three below step five. Activity C directs you to pour 20 mLs of hydrogen peroxide into a small flask. And then add a pea-sized amount of baker's yeast to the flask, covering quickly with a balloon and then swirling gently. You can see um, bubbles being produced and gas filling the flask and inflating the balloon. Record your observations in the space on sheet four below step five. Activity D directs you to pour ammonia into a test tube and then add drops of copper sulfate slowly into the test tube and watch the result. Notice that not only the ammonia changes color, but the copper sulfate does as well. 
When the two liquids mix together, they form a solid that sinks to the bottom of the test tube. This process is known as precipitation. Record your observations in the space on sheet 5 below step 6. Now you can go ahead and finish the questions on sheets 6 and 7.